کاوش پلاس Almost 20 years ago since the Aussies got involved their number one military man has no other choice but to say sorry I sincerely and unreservedly apologize for any wrongdoing by Australian soldiers I say no choice because allegations of 39 civilian deaths at the hand of his defense force as a result of bloodlust and competition killing deserve an apology or actually much more than that large parts of the military report we can't even read they're blacked out but even what's available sounds horrendous and disgusting this shameful record includes alleged instances in which new patrol members were coerced to shoot a prisoner in order to achieve that soldier's first kill in an appalling practice known as blooding atrocities range from reports of troops killing a 6-year-old child in a house raid to a prisoner being shot dead to save space in a helicopter apology given measures to be taken culprits to be punished compensation to be paid But just think of how many times since 2001 we heard the same kind of stuff from the coalition. It all makes you wonder just how many more thousands of deaths or command faux pas we're still unaware of, especially when it's revealed how much the people in charge were in denial about what they were doing. The problem is there is a disincentive really to tell the truth. We have created an incentive to almost require or for people to lie. There's an odor of mendacity throughout the Afghanistan issue and I know Congressman Connolly has heard me talk about this years ago. Mendacity and hubris.